to be a little torn on this. A little mixed. I'm not torn. torn. I'm I'm not fine. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I'm going to give you a question. Every single one of them is going. The answer is going to be the celebrity chef. All right, number one. Duh. It's a celebrity chef quiz. The question could be about the celebrity chef, and it could be what their uh, famous dish this could guy. be. Or what their show is. So, yeah. this quiz, are Dick. you going to ask a question and then request us answer it? <laughs> is that how this works? First post on Billy Rant is going to be <laughs> all about someone I know. All right. Who doesn't have Twitter, so fire away. <laughs> Number one. This Austrian chef was born in 1949. He opened his first restaurant, Spago. Spago? I think it's Spago. Spago. Spago in 1982. He is the only chef to win the James Beard Outstanding Chef of the Year twice. The signature dish, smoked salmon pizza. According to one side I saw. Is it Arnold Schwarzenegger? <laughs> <laughs> Why is that a guess? That, ex- that exhausts the list of Austrian people I know. <laughs> Rachel, do you have any guess? Is it Wolfgang Puck? Jeff, do you agree? It is Wolfgang. It is Wolfgang Puck. Absolutely. They're like, now him, I know him too. and Ramsey are like buddies. He always has them on his show or oh, really? stuff that he does. Yeah. He comes, he. It's got to be a, a pretty lot. good deal to be buddies with Wolfgang Puck. Yeah. So, number two. What British chef started his TV career with the show Naked Chef? Oh, boy. Is his name Jeff? No. No, that I'm not sure. Do you cook naked? <laughs> I feel like it was very dangerous. Is it me? Do you want to know that answer? <laughs> I don't know. He's I cooked, do have a naked he's cooked chef meals for me before. Though, do you? That it has to do with a fire that took place in a house once. But oh, oh, Rachel, do you know? Mm-mm. No. It Please do tell. <laughs> Jamie Oliver. Huh. Ah. So did he cook naked? I don't think so. I never I, actually. I'm seen gonna it. have to research. See the guy that's this. got that comedy show now. So what were you saying, though? The story? Oh. Yeah. Okay, to make a really long story short, I knew that um, there was a guy who lived with his girlfriend. His brother was staying with him. And I knew his brother had started the fire in this house. So, so he I talked to the neighbor. The there was an older lady next door. Mm-hmm. Oh, no. Well, he told me that his brother came home from work. He had had a little too much to drink, started frying clams, and then passed out on the couch. Forgot oh. to turn the fire out. So, but then what I found out later from the lady next door, her son had actually gone in and dragged him out. He was not wearing any clothes, <laughs> so he was frying clams while drunk and naked <laughs> before he passed out. <laughs> Funniest fire I've ever had to work on in my life. Outstanding. Yeah, put a whole new dimension. Wow. On that. Yeah, that's uh. So sad news: the naked chef is not about actually being physically naked. Oh, okay. So none of us have seen that show. No. No. Yeah, I, f- I figured I. I thought that was a pretty popular show. I'm surprised. I've never seen it. All right. Number three. Despite feminist criticism, this author and chef's book, How to Be a Domestic Goddess, sold very well. It allowed her to win British Book Awards Author of the Year over the likes of J.K. Rowling. British. Who's British? Blasphemy. It is strange to hear that this, that this book out, or, uh, had somebody win... Uh, British Book Award or or author of the year, I mean, over J.K. Rowling. I guess it depends on what year it was. I suppose. Probably wasn't a Harry Potter Are you dancing? Yeah, I can't remember her name. I think I know who it is, but I'm not sure. Want to guess? No, I can't remember her name. Oh, you can't remember? Okay. Uh, Anybody? 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 Nigella Nigella. Lawson. Mm -hmm. Yep. No clue. Yeah, I guess the... I'll let you know when I've heard of somebody. There's some saucy... You ever heard of any one of those two yet? No. Wolfgang Puck? Oh, well, yeah. Wolfgang okay. Puck. Yeah, but apparently uh, her How to Be a Domestic Goddess, the title kind of infuriated mm. some people. All right. Number... What, like feminists or something? The, despite feminist criticism. Yeah. 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 And, the, and the gods of Athens. You know, yeah, oh, well, they were pissed. <laughs> Zeus, yeah, he yeah. was not happy. What were you saying? I just went... Ugh. Oh, okay. Number four. This American chef dropped out of high school at 17 years old. Uh, the chef was also the first to get a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame, probably due to their 16 plus... Uh, I'm sorry. 
I think it's okay. I'm, my handwriting. This is sucks. why I type stuff. Yeah, <laughs> really. Newsflash: His handwriting sucks. The chef was also the first to get a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame, and probably due to their uh, sixteen plus hosted shows on the Food Network. <sighs> is it? Uh... Is it Guy? Is it Guy Fieri <laughs> or whatever? Guy Fieri. Oh. I just keep thinking of his hair. I know. <laughs> That's not a rant. <laughs> I love him. I do too. Know your rage. <laughs> Stop dressing like a I, I love that guy too. He's um, so fun. Who else? Who's hosted that Bam! many shows? Emerald? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. That's a lot of shows. Alton hasn't done that many. No. Well. Yeah. I mean, just think about it. who's been Food Network's baby forever. Not Bourdain. <sighs> You can try to beat him if you want. Bobby Flay? Bobby Flay. Oh. oh. I don't like that guy. You don't? <laughs> no. I'm not impressed with his stuff. He's got an arrogance about him. Yeah, I don't, I don't like him. Yeah. <clears throat> All right, number... What is, is he Irish or something? He's American. The American chef. Oh, he's American. Yeah. Okay. Number five. This anthropology major studied at Cordon Bleu in Paris and eventually wound up working for Wolfgang Puck in California. The chef got several TV hosting gigs before finally opening their own restaurant in 2014. Wow. They had a 2003 debut on TV and 2014 got their first restaurant. But she was an anthropology major in college and then ended up being a, doing a cooking instead. Hmm. Studying at Cordon it's a Blue. She? It is a she. Is it Rachel Ray? No. Damn it. Well, I think she was. Well, she, I don't think Rachel Ray went to Cordon Bleu. I don't think Rachel Ray had her own restaurant either. Oh, I'm not sure that she wouldn't. No, no, no I her think stuff's she's got good. Some. I just but I don't got think. Her... But Rachel Ray, I don't think ever. I don't think she ever had a restaurant. I got her cooking pans recently, and they're the bomb. <laughs> like they're awesome. <laughs> they're the bomb. I love. She's bomb. more. She's more of a like a southern cooking. Yeah. yeah in but, 2003, I also think was a little too early for Rachel Ray. Um. Mm. I thought you said 13. That's why. 2003 debut on TV. 2014, their own restaurant. That's not which, which seems weird. That's I not that uh, Italian girl you you like, is it? Giada. Giada. I, I think she's pretty. I don't know if I. That's because you haven't seen her from the side. <laughs> from the side. <laughs> <laughs> Nose is not attractive. Oh, I got gotcha, you. Yeah. Oh, jeez. She got a schnoz. We've talked about this before. <clears throat> she... It is correct. That is Giada. All right, number six. This American chef differs from most of their famous counterparts in that he doesn't own any restaurants and instead focuses all on media and bow tie sales. Bow tie? He's known for diving into the science of cooking that sounds like Alton, and finding multiple uses for singular kitchen items. Yeah, bow tie definitely sounds like Alton. I agree with Jeff. It is Alton. Yeah, he's way more in the science of things and like apparently he's got this whole thing about like if there's a you know, a kitchen item or utensil that has one particular like uh, function, mm-hmm. he'll find multiple different ways to use it. Mm. So, a couple of years ago, he was at the Rialto in Joliet, and we went and saw him. It was an amazing show. He was that guy is funny. Mm. He is absolutely yeah. spectacularly entertaining. That's right. A little bit of cooking, a lot of science, a lot of stories, and he was just absolutely fascinating. Mm. Ever have a chance to go see him? Well worth it. That was before. Mm. Um, Cutthroat Kitchen came out. You became a fan of his. Gotcha. Boys, we'd have dragged you along. <clears throat> All right, number seven. This English chef is by far the most decorated chef chef on this quiz. Shelf. Yeah. The chef on the shelf. The chef on the shelf. <laughs> With a whopping 16 Michelin stars earned in his career. the His flagship restaurant... So he's a tire shelf? <laughs> yes. His flagship restaurant was held... Or I'm sorry. His flagship restaurant has held a three-star Michelin rank since 2001. That's a heck of a long time to have three Michelin stars. By the way, this is... How, he's earned 16. He right. doesn't have 16 now, but he's earned 16 in his lifetime. Um, as far as all the celebrity chefs are concerned, Gordon Ramsay, or yeah, yeah. it's Gordon Ramsay. Out of all the celebrity chefs, he mm-hmm. is by great lengths the most decorated as far right. as Michelin stars are concerned. Part of me, like I know he's technically British, but he's actually Scottish. So he, I think, I think, that's he, I think why... he was born 
in Scotland, yeah. but he was raised, and I think he identifies as being English. Yes, yeah, so I think that's what. Except that one out. time where I think someone said like, "Oh, you know, you're." He doesn't English. identify as a shelf. <laughs> no. <laughs> I, I think I remember one time. I I'm think, confused. I think he someone called him English, and then he yelled at him and says, "I'm I'm <laughs> Scottish, you idiot, or something." <laughs> like, but I mean, I, I I think most of his stuff is English. You know, like mm-hmm. he grew up yeah. in England and all that stuff. So. Right. Hell's Kitchen uncensored is the best thing ever. <laughs> oh, <I bet. laughs> Number eight. This popular chef is most known by his catchphrase, but is also known for his award-winning French and New Orleans cuisine. Emerald. Bam! Bam. <laughs> that is correct. It's Emerald. I keep thinking about that video I played back, like, how many shows ago where it was just Emerald going, bam, 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 yeah. bam. <laughs> <laughs> All right, number nine. This American chef had a very impressive rise. No culinary degree and just cooking wisdom passed from family and successful and a successful catering company when she had basically two hundred dollars to her name. Rachel, eh? she made a catering company. No, Damn. Um, but they, she started this in a Best Western and eventually a big hit restaurant called Lady and Sons. Her cooking got her huge fame, including TVs or TV shows, a uh, book. <laughs> She was famous, and she bought TVs. And then she got a little bit loose with the tongue, and she lost her TV show, Paula Dean. That's correct. It is Paula Dean. Ah. I've been to that one. Yeah? Lady and Sons. Really? Mm-hmm. Done in Savannah. Hmm. Oh, Paula. Savannah, Georgia. All right. We're going to wrap this up with a... Basically, I'm going to give you the um, name of the show. Tell me who the host is. No. Hmm. All right. Number one. Cutthroat Kitchen. Alton Brown. There you go. Barefoot Contessa. Oh, that's uh, that's your girl Giada. No, oh no, it's not. No, is she? No, no, does no. she have red hair? I feel like she's got red hair. No. I'll leave this up to you guys. I don't know this one. It's not. It's not. Uh... Oh crap! Can't remember her name. What's her first name? Ina. Ina Garden. Garden. Mm-hmm. Mm. Yeah, Garden with a T. In a garden. Never heard of her. Next one up, the Pioneer Woman. Oh, she, that's the redhead. That's the redhead. That's the redhead. Who's what got a name, huge though? ranch? Does she? Yeah, I, it, it's I like a five mile driveway stuff. from their beginning of their property to their their ranch house. She's got the who wants that? Stuff. Her husband. He's got like tons and tons and tons uh, and tons, and tons of cattle. How long we'll be? We'll be home in ten minutes. We just pulled up to the gate. <laughs> <laughs> Screw <laughs> that. <laughs> I don't remember her name, but I can see her in my head. What is I don't name? think you get points for seeing her in your head, Rachel. I should get points. <laughs> it's better than what you're doing. Hey, I got Alton Brown. <laughs> I don't know. I, I just know what she looks like. Dapping? Yeah, her name's not coming to me. Re Drummond. Drummond. Ah. All right. She's actually got an awesome blog. She's very, <laughs> very, very funny. Hmm. Yeah, she seems to be... Uh, Still very much in the... Very down to earth. Yeah. But, right. yeah, her and her husband have an unbelievable empire. Everyday Italian. Ah, that's Giada. That's Giada. <laughs> the French chef. The French chef? Was that that... Uh... The naked guy? I don't think so. <laughs> Ratatouille. No, not, not the naked man. <laughs> the drunk lady? No, it was a guy, I think. Well, this chef has been known to call any party without a cake. Just a meeting. Oh, that's Julia Child. <laughs> it is Julia Child. Oh, the drunk lady. I was yeah, right. You're right. Kitchen nightmares. Oh, Gordon Ramsay. Gordon Ramsay. Oh, Gordon Ramsay. Oh, oh, my no reservations. <laughs> um, I think that was Bourdain, wasn't it? That's correct. Uh, I was going to ask that. Are all these current? <laughs> yeah, that's correct. It was Bourdain. Restaurant Impossible. Oh, my favorite. Yeah, you don't like this guy. No, I don't. You don't, you don't know who it is? Irvine. Robert Irvine. Robert mm. Irvine, that's correct. The wannabe uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger. Oh. Cake Boss. Oh, that's Buddy! <laughs> <laughs> He's a cake boss! <laughs> <laughs> you got a last name for Buddy? It's uh, Velastro or Vel- something. Buddy Velastro, that's correct. Wow. I love him. <laughs> I was at one of two for this one. The next Food Network star. Oh, that's your favorite mm. flay and uh, Giada usually. Those two, yep. Those are one of the, either one of those would have gotten points. Hmm. Good eats. That's Alton. 
Is it? 